I know he's scary. Listen, when he punches you, just run. Just run. I don't care if people make fun of you. It's better to live for another day than to be punched in your beautiful fa Oh, excuse me. Hello, how are you? I, Justin Trudeau didn't come on the show today, but my little uh, Trudeau uh, stand-in is here. But joining me on the other side of the show is the real Senator Patrick Brazo, who is going to be fighting with Justin Trudeau on March 31st in Ottawa, the thriller on the hill. Senator, welcome to the program. How are you doing, Ezra? Good. Listen, I love your hair, too, but it just can't compare to the beautiful luster of Justin Trudeau. That's why I call him the shiny pony. Now, I'm looking at your tats. I'm looking at your pipes. I need another word for you. Uh, you know, the senator soldier, you're a bit of a kickboxer. What's your nickname? Well, uh, just to, uh, to clear the air, uh, I have no experience kickboxing, but I am a second-degree black belt. Uh, but uh, in my nickname for the fight is uh, Braz Knuckles Brazo. <laughs> Braz Knuckles Brazo. Show me them pipes. You got some tattoos. They remind me a little bit. They're tough tattoos. Like, that's not some, something from a Chinese food takeout menu or, or like barbed wire or a little tramp stamp on your small your back. Those, that's like Mike Tyson style. That's like prison style tats. Show me your arms. Well, uh, here's a little uh, tribal tattoo on, on this arm here. Uh, kind of huge. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I kind of like it, and uh, I've got a few more on, uh, on this arm as well. Those are pretty serious. I tell you, you know, that's tribal. <laughs> is that your Aboriginal uh, heritage there? I, I saw an Aboriginal symbology there. Is that, is that an expression of, uh, could I call you the Métis Mauler, or is that getting the coloring outside the lines too much? Well, you know, I, I'm more of the, uh, the, the Algonquin agitator. The Algonquin <laughs> agitator. I love it. Now, tell me, what kind of training are you doing? I hear you're taking this fight really seriously. What are you doing other than showing off the pipes on TV? Are you, are you doing push-ups? What are you doing? You, you're hitting the bag a little bit? Well, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm uh, obviously sparring. I'm working uh, heavily on cardio, and uh, you know, I'm also doing a little bit of light weights uh, as well, so that I maintain uh, the weight that I was almost at. Uh, and so, uh, of course, I'm taking this seriously. Uh, you know, I want to put uh, beating on Mr. Trudeau, and uh, uh, obviously, I have to work out for it. I'm getting ready for it. I am ready for it. And uh, now, I'm just anxious to hear the bell in the first round, and let's go at it. I hear he's doing lots of jazzercise and, uh, and um, you know, some spinning classes. I hear he's doing lots of hot yoga. Is that intimidating to you that he's doing jazzercise? He's wearing those beautiful leg warmers. Is that sort of, I mean, you've got the tattoos, he's got the leg warmers. Are you psyched out by that? Well, you know, going into this fight, you know, I have a few things that come to mind. Uh, you know, I have the National Energy Program. I have the 1969 White Paper. Uh, we have Charlottetown, Meech Lake. We have the recent comments about separatism. Uh, so I'm looking forward that uh, on behalf of all Canadians, uh, I'll take one for the team, and I'm certainly going to dish them out as well. Now, let me ask you this. You know, we're having a lot of fun joking around, but there's actually a good cause underneath all this bloodshed that you're going to inflict on the shiny pony. Please don't break his nose. He's so pretty. Anyway, tell me about the cause that this is for. This is not just a good fight. There's going to be a charitable benefit here. What, tell me a little bit about the details. Well, absolutely. Uh, this is essentially uh, a boxing club in Ottawa that's been putting this event together for the last few years uh, called uh, Final Round Boxing. And all proceeds uh, go towards uh, cancer uh, research uh, here in Ottawa. Uh, so obviously it's for a good cause. I mean, I've mentioned this before. On a personal level, I lost uh, my mom uh, with her battle uh, uh, to lung cancer in 2004. So even though uh, she lost uh, the battle with uh, lung cancer, I try to do and contribute as much as I can uh, in her name uh, to continue the fight and uh, to the many others who are inflicted by this, uh, this horrible disease. Uh, so, so it's for a good cause, but uh, obviously uh, on a side note, uh, the second good cause is to, uh, to duke it out with, uh, with true and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. What, what are the stakes here? I mean, I, I think you got the advantage. What, if, what would happen, God forbid, if you lost? What do you think will happen if he loses? And there's going to be political ramifications here, don't you think? Well, obviously there, there will be, but I think, uh, you know, as the old saying goes, if you give enough rope, uh, people will, will eventually hang themselves. Uh, uh, but I think in his case, if you give him enough uh, boxing wraps, I think he's doing a pretty good job at doing that uh, for himself. But obviously there's, there's political stakes. Uh, uh, the loser will have to wear uh, the, the opposing political party's jersey in their respective houses uh, in Parliament for, for a week. And uh, he didn't agree to a military haircut that I had proposed, but he did agree to a, a small haircut. <laughs> Senator Brazo, knock him out. We'll see. I'm going to be there in Ottawa. I'll be doing ring inside commentary. Very unbiased, very nonpartisan. Appreciate you coming on the show today, Senator. 
Anytime, my pleasure. You take care. Bye bye. Folks, it's exclusively on the sun. You can see that match. Well, I think uh, chances are pretty good. Uh, obviously, been training uh, for quite some time uh, for this uh, moment this evening. Uh, and I guess people will have to wait, but uh, I'm certainly feeling confident. I feel fresh. I feel relaxed. And uh, I'm ready to go. What's your game plan for this evening? Well, uh, charge, hit fast, hit hard, and uh, we'll see what will happen. Uh, I don't know if my opponent is uh, used to uh, taking hits, but uh, he, he may uh, quickly find out. Uh, you talked a bit uh, during the weigh-in about why you're doing this. Can, can you tell us why you're doing this? Well, very simple. Uh, I'm doing this for uh, my mom and in remembrance of my mom and uh, the fight that she had to go through uh, with lung cancer. Uh, she got diagnosed in 2003. Uh, and died in uh, January of 2004, so she didn't have a whole lot of time with us. Uh, but it was a, a uh, um, you know, an unfortunate experience. Uh, she was still young, uh, and so uh, even though she lost her battle with cancer, uh, I try to do what I can do to participate, uh, to continue the fight in her name and the many others who are inflicted with this uh, horrific disease. So whoever wins tonight, the loser, it appears, is going to shave off their locks, cut their locks. Well, uh, that's right. Uh, that's uh, one of the side bets that, uh, that we have. But uh, regardless, uh, hair grows back. Uh, but uh, seeing Justin Trudeau wear a conservative jersey for a week in the House of Commons is priceless. Uh, listen, I'm feeling pretty good. We've been working uh, for six months towards this moment. Uh, I'm uh, comfortable with my game plan and I'm uh, looking forward to getting into the ring. What is your game plan? Uh, listen, just uh, work my reach, uh, keep him at a distance, uh, and then when he starts to tire, go in and work him. How quickly do you think it will take you to nail him? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit him within the first, uh, you know, 10 seconds or so with the jab, but uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, how things evolve after that, that, uh, that things get interesting. You mentioned uh, that you were fighting for a number of things tonight. Can you tell me a little bit about yeah. that? I mean, obviously, we're fighting for cancer. Uh, for cancer research, we're raising close to $200,000 for the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation, which is a, a great cause, and really everyone needs to be commended for their, uh, for their involvement, for buying tickets, for their support online, and that's wonderful. Uh, but I'm also fighting, uh, obviously, for my dad, who died of cancer, uh, and uh, who taught me how to fight. Uh, but since the budget, I've got a little extra something uh, to fight for as well. Well, uh, they, the Conservative government decided to cut uh, youth programs, and specifically Katimovic, which serves uh, young people in communities across the country, teaches them how to be empowered citizens and leaders of today, not just leaders of tomorrow. Uh, and the fact that the Conservative government cut it is purely ideological, because uh, they don't like it, because it's a liberal associated program. Uh, so uh, I'm certainly going to be fighting for Katimovic at the same time. Thanks so much. My pleasure. And hopefully uh, this is going to do very well. Now, Senator Brazo, just talk, I just talked to him and he says he doesn't think you can take a punch. Do you, do you what, what's your response well, to that? Well, either he's right and it'll be a very short fight or he's wrong and he's going to be in really big trouble. We'll find out in a few hours. Thanks. In any situation, I'm going to go with a person who has a little more experience in the sport we're actually doing. I wouldn't, you know, count on my chances if I was going into a karate match against uh, against Senator Brazo. Uh, but boxing, I'm, I'm feeling, uh, you know, like I'm I had I, I have a shot. I have a shot. Can you talk about the side bets that you have going? Um, you know, the side bets sort of happened almost organically. Uh, Pat. Uh, sent me an email. He said, "Let's make it. Uh, send me a tweet. Uh, let's make it interesting. Let's put uh, put some uh, you know so, some pride on the on the line. The, the loser will wear a uh, uh, the opposing party's uh, jersey for for a day or for a week." I said, "Okay, you know that's that's something we can do, but it doesn't quite seem to the level of you know the the event we're doing. I mean, any after any playoff game, you have an opposing mayor wearing a jersey." So I said, "You know, we're both known for our long hair on the hill." Uh, let's let's say the loser gets a haircut. Um, he resisted back a little bit, you know, pointing out that hair has a cultural significance for First Nations peoples. And I said, uh, I know that's why I proposed it. When a warrior cuts his hair, it's a sign of shame. So it's uh, it's very apropos. Uh, and he and he laughed and he said, Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing both the jersey and the haircut um, on Monday uh, at noon in the foyer of the House of Commons. Uh, one of us will get a haircut. Uh, and you're all invited, uh, and one of us will also don the jersey to be worn for the rest of the week. I, I tried to point out that it's uh, less fair because the House of Commons is televised in the way that the Senate isn't, um, but I actually didn't get through the sentence because I realized I'm not going to be wearing the jersey on Monday.
I think uh, Patrick is is being a really good sport uh, about uh, laying it on uh, thick for uh, for the show, uh, and that's great. But I mean, he's doing this for a very real reason as well. If, uh, you know, his, he lost his mom to cancer in early 2004, uh, and cancer is a disease that touches everyone. MPs and boxers gathered to show their support. This is a great cause. Uh, that's a great event. I'm here for the great cause, and there's going to be a great fight too. The champion boxer had one last piece of advice for the two fighters. First rule of boxing, it's protect yourself all the time. So tonight, keep your hands up, guys.